In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to build a simple RGB LED circuit. For this tutorial you will need cables, a breadboard, a battery, push buttons, resistor and an RGB LED. Let's start with adding and positioning components. Search and add a small breadboard. And rotate it 90 degrees. Search and add a 9 volt battery to your circuit. Rotate it 90 degrees too. Position the battery so that the positive end of the battery is connected to the positive rail, and the negative one is connected to the negative rail. Search and add an RGB LED. Rotate it 90 degrees. Then place it on your breadboard, with the top red pin in E13, that is column E, row 13. Hover over each leg of the RGB LED to see the labels for each pin. This reveals what RGB stands for, red, green and blue. There's also another pin called the cathode that we'll want to connect to ground through a resistor to ensure there isn't too much current running through the LED. Search and add a 480 ohm resistor, with one leg connected to the cathode of the LED at D14, and the other connected to D18. Finally connect the resistor to ground by connecting A18 to the negative rail with the wire. Search and find a push button to add to your circuit. Rotate it 90 degrees and place it on your breadboard so that the top left pin is in E1. Pushing the button while the simulation is running will create a connection between the left pins, E1 and E3, and the right pins, F1 and F3. We'll use this to trigger each pin of the RGB LED. Remember, an LED turns in when it has connection to power and ground. To create this connection, wire the top left pin of the push button, A1, to the positive rail. Now wire the other side of the push button at D3 to D13, the same row as the red pin of the RGB LED. Click Start Simulation and press the button. LED should turn to red. Stop the simulation and change the wire color to match the color the RGB LED turns when the push button is pressed. Copy, Ctrl plus C, and paste, Ctrl plus V. The push button to create another one and place it with the top left pin at E5. Use wires to connect the top left pin to the power rail and the bottom pin to the blue pin of the RGB LED, C7 to C15. Run the simulation and check that the RGB LED turns the color you expect it to, which is blue. Repeat with one last push button whose top left pin is at D9. Use wires to connect the top left pin to power and the bottom left pin to the green pin of the RGB LED, B11 to B16. Your circuit is finished. You can now experience with your setup. Try pushing two or three buttons at the same time. To do this you need to shift click the button you would like to keep pressed. Now you can click other buttons and observe the results.